Okay, now we're starting to get into some word problems here. So uh, 8 and 9 are going to deal with uh, word problems. So 8a, among all pairs of numbers whose sum is 19, find a pair whose product is as large as possible. What is the maximum product? Whenever you see a phrase like largest possible, smallest possible, maximum, minimum, that means that you're going to have to come up with some kind of quadratic equation and then you're going to use the vertex formula uh, to get the answer because max and min of a parabola is always going to occur at a vertex. Okay, so for this problem we have to do a little setup with some equations. So let's go, let's walk through each of these sentences to see what we, how we can translate those. It says among the pair of numbers, okay, so pair means we're looking for two numbers, let's call that x and y. It says whose sum is 19. Okay, so we want to write an algebraic expression for two numbers whose sum is 19. That would look like this. We're going to do x plus y equals 19. Those are my two numbers. I'm adding them together equals 19. Now, the next thing it says is we got the word product. Okay, the word product uh, means that you're multiplying two numbers together. So that means that I'm going to have to do x, y. But I, it would be nice if I made it into some kind of equation. This is not an equation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put uh, P for product, or I, I can use A for amount. Whatever I want to use is fine. In this case, I'm just going to use let uh, just do P equals X Y. Doesn't really matter what that number is uh, to the left. The main thing is just uh, what you have here with the X's and Y's. Okay, so these are my two equations that I can get from the wording of the question. And so now, in order to find what they're asking for, I got to somehow uh, put these two together. Uh, into one equation. So since they're talking about product as large as possible and what's the maximum product, I want to come up with a formula for product. And I want to get rid of one of the variables that's here. I don't want to keep two variables in it because there's not very much I can do uh, with that. So I'm going to take the first equation. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve. I can either solve for x or y, it doesn't matter. In this case, let's go ahead and solve for y. Okay, so if I solve for y with this equation, that means I would subtract x from both sides. That means I would get y equals 19 minus x. Then what I'll do next is I'm going to take the y from here, and I'm going to stick it into the y in that formula, which means that I'll get x times 19 minus x. And so by doing that, I've eliminated one of my variables, and now I have all x's that are left over. So I got the sum here. I solved for y. Again, it doesn't matter which one. Either y or x you can solve for. You'll get the same answer regardless. Once you solve that one, we stick it in here in place of the y and we get this. Now if we multiply that out, we get 19x minus x squared. This is our quadratic formula that we're now going to work with. And this is the one, whenever it asks for max or min, doesn't matter, we're always going to use the vertex formula in order to find the x value. All right, so let's find x. x is equal to, again, the formula is negative b over 2a we're going to use on this one. So again, this formula is very important. It's used a lot on this test. Negative b, the b, now be careful when you have these labeled. Your b is actually going to be the 19, and the little negative 1 that comes in front of the x squared, that's your a. a is always in front of the squared variable. All right, so we have, for this, negative 19 over 2 times negative 1 and the negatives are going to cancel and we get 19 halves and we'll leave our answer in the fraction form. Now it says find a pair of numbers. So pair means we got to find the x and the y value. We found the x value. Now this formula we did, that we did earlier, this formula is solved for y. So if I take the 19 halves and put it in here for x, I'll get the y value, so I'll do that next. So I'm going to do 19 minus 19 halves. And if we uh, multiply top and bottom by 2, I'll get 38 halves minus 19 halves. That's going to also give me 19 halves. So it just so happens that both these numbers happen to be the same. So on the line of the test that says pair, you would just put down 19 over 2 comma 19 over 2. You'd put that down on that line. Now the other line is, the thing it asks for is it says what is the maximum product? Well, uh, what you can do for that one is you can actually use this formula, 
P equals XY because we already have the X and the Y there. So if you do this one, you can do 19 halves times 19 halves. You could also put 19 halves back into the, the P formula I had earlier that I erased that was down here, but that's a little bit more work. This is going to be easier to do that way. You'll multiply it across the top, across the bottom, and you'll get uh, 361 fourths. Uh, and that would, would be the actual maximum product. So we did, we did the vertex formula. We found the pair of numbers, 19 halves and 19 halves, and this right here, 361 over 4, would be your product.